fucker. Piss off. So, what's with discount uh, creature from the Black Lagoon? Discount creature from the Black Lagoon? That's oddly specific. The Babadook? I was gonna say the Bunyip, but okay. Bunyip? Bunyip. Yeah. Bunyip is a is a Australian mythological creature. It's kind of like a boogeyman. It was also in My Little Pony. Yeah. Apparently. Although it's it's a lot yep. different because cucumbers. In uh in Australian mythology, if you look it in the eye, you die. Oh. That's why indeed. Aww. Isn't that what a cockatrice in... does? No, uh, it just turns turn you to stone. Cockatrice well, turns you into stone, which puts you in suspended animation. A bunyip will just kill you straight up if you look it in the eye. Like, you just die. You cease. You cease. Medusa's evil pet. Is this like the, you know, do you remember from the Epic of Gilgamesh, the weird, freaky scorpion people? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, if, yeah. They looked at, if they looked at you in a certain manner, then you died? Yes, that's, it's, it's very similar in, uh, in, like, context. I, I love the, the whole mythology behind the Bunyip, though, because, like, there's a there's an account of, like, an Australian, uh, a British explorer in Australia that saw a Bunyip while he was riding a boat down a river, and he went to shoot it, and his aboriginal guy grabbed him and, like, threw him to the deck and was like, don't, you can't kill it. You are not allowed to kill it. So it's, like, an actively malicious creature, but even, like, it's considered sacred. So it's like, we know that it wants to kill us, but if we try to fight back, we're afraid of what will happen. Hmm. That works. Submissive. You gotta be submissive and insert TikTok meme here. Submissive is fun. For fuck's sake, okay. Uh... You were talking <laughs> about a jar earlier, so... <laughs> on, a on a somewhat different, like, sort of topic... I'm a cube. I just wanted to oh say, my... scorpion people that kill you by looking at you in a certain <laughs> way is really fucking funny. Because you can just imagine, uh, one of those living in today's society and somebody says some stupid shit and he just kills them on the spot while saying, that's fucking cringe. Looks like pandas, <laughs> looks like pandas trying <laughs> to steal your trademark, fucking cringe Vlad. dies immediately. At least panda understands my pain. I wanna At least the cube. At the very least, panda understands my pain. Cubes are the worst. Cubes are the worst. In, in terms of golf with your friends and the randomizer, it's one of the worst, but not the worst. I think the worst has to be... Acorn? Acorn. Acorn, yeah. Acorn. Yeah, acorns. Acorn's pretty... You know what? That's something I could do. That's a video idea. I could make a, uh, a randomizer-shaped tier list from, like, worst to best. Like, the most yeah. functional and to the least functional. golf with your friends. <laughs> S-tier... Shit shape. Acorn cube. Hold on, what's S tier? I you cut out there. S tier shit S tier is like the worst of the worst. It's it's the most non-functional shape. Oh, in terms of category. Okay. Yeah. So S tier is like acorn cube. Uh ornament. Ornament, yeah. Cause like you, Ornament it, it, is it, it, just round enough that you can make it work. But you bounce all over the place, so you have a very, very false sense of hope. Yeah, it's. I would say that the best shapes you can get turned into are anything the that's puck. flat, yeah, like the hockey, hockey puck, puck or and star. The star. Yeah, yeah, those are the absolute best that you can get turned into. Star, so that's, hmm. That speaks more to your ability to play the game than anything else. But a tish. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> the star straight up and then just launches me in whatever direction, no matter what I decide. Hey, hey pickles, I have to ask. Do you believe in life after love? thing called love? You had two different quotes, but you were on the same page. And I believe. And I believe. Belief. Belief. So I am uber tired because I've been working on like. I've been watching like. Lightning Bliss did a review of fucking My Little Pony movie, whatever the shit. Uh, and I'm like, fuck, okay, I've, I want to make something, I want to make content again, so I've, uh, So do it! I, I have been, okay, so I've been, last night, I got literally, n I got literally no sleep, I've been running on, like, Bruh. I had a, I had a one hour nap, okay, uh, between, Ew. Ouch. What's today, Friday? Bruh. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> fuck. 
Okay, so, well, it's Friday here. It's 1 a.m. where I am. So, starting at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, I got one hour's sleep between now and then. Uh, and I've been working on a script for just the hottest of hot takes that I can give for the movie, but I've also been working on two other things, which are which My Little Pony character would be the best at Devil May Cry, and consequently who would be the best at the Splinter Cell and Metal Gear series. So I have been replaying through those series, and I want to die. Why? Okay, so, like, for me, whenever I play anything like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, I need to triple S rank every single level, or I get angry at myself. <laughs> oh, dear. Good so I have... Game, uh, <laughs> I see the problem here. I have been trying to triple S rank Devil May Cry 5 on the hardest difficulty, and because I want to figure out, like... I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of Rainbow Dash at the moment, and I'm like, oh, Roy Rainbow Dash would 100% try to run the Royal Guard. She would 100% be Royal Guard. Um, trying to run an entire Royal Guard playthrough in Devil May Cry 5 is an exercise in frustration. Why? For those of okay, so the Royal Guard is a, is a maneuver in Devil May Cry that was introduced in Devil May Cry 3. It literally requires you to make a frame-perfect parry to suffer no damage Ow! and execute a uh, counterattack that kills damn near anything in the game. And the problem is that I have the timing down for Devil May Cry 4's Royal Guard. In Devil May Cry 5, they... The frame-perfect timing that you need to get has been made even more stringent because... I used a tool assist. I used a tool assisted run to try and help me with, you know, pressing the button at the right time. And that didn't even help me. So, I am sitting here, staring at my screen, like, sleep deprived, trying to figure out what the timing for, for the parry is. And I... I I damn near put my brand new mouse through my monitor. I am not joking. Oh. Bro. I would have used my controller. If I had one. <laughs> I used to have one. I broke it. So now you have to get a new one. So my point still stands. I need to get a new one, but... Uh, money, and that's money I don't want to spend, so I'll just use keyboard and mouse controls. Which is gonna suck when I try to play the Yakuza series. Cause... You know how fucking dis- like, how much- how emasculating it is for when you start up Yakuza 0 and it says real Yakuza use gamepad? And then proceeds to insult you through the rest of the game if you use keyboard and mouse? Oh dear. I'm unaware I, of this game, but that must be very frustrating. You're playing Yakuza on keyboard and mouse? That's pretty cringe. That's basically it, and I'm like, I'm getting fucking- I'm getting fucking shamed by Sega. The people who made the Saturn. And the, uh, 32X. The 32X and the, uh, the- Oh, Sega fuck, CD. what was the- The Sega CD. So, how the fuck are they gonna look me in the eye and tell me that I suck at the game because I'm not playing the way that they want me to play? Simple, because they didn't. Uh, it's it's. I've been. It feels good to get the creative juices flowing again because, uh, blah, I haven't made anything in like years. Three years, I think. Four years from me. Four years, yeah, four years. Damn, Jesus, I'm old. Uh. <laughs> no, dude, you're ten years younger than me. I'm yeah, thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I just, that I have a fucking must, I have a fucking beard, like, white beard and a goddamn cane. And I have to take my medication. <laughs> Alright, gra right, Grandpa, it's time to take your medicine again. Uh, These young whipper stampers. Back in my day, we had the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Back in my day, we had controllers and didn't need this keyboard. <laughs> back in... <laughs> I remember back in the day when Castlevania was still a relevant series. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, remember? No, no. I remember when Castlevania was relevant as a video game. As yeah. opposed to a TV show. As opposed to a TV show. God, I just want to say it's a good TV show. No, I was no, going to say, it's a great it's TV an, show. Goldie, it's really no, good. Yeah, no one said it was bad. It's just the funny thing is that if you say Castlevania now, it's like, it's not have you played Castlevania, it's have you have seen, you seen Castlevania. Have you seen Castlevania? <laughs> you, okay, guys, have you seen the news about Konami? Uh... What? They are currently working on making a remaster for their classic video game IPs. That includes Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Uh, a They're still talking about which Castlevania title they want to remaster. Remake the fourth. Um, no, Rod of Blood. Sorry. Well, here's the thing. Everybody's like, why do they want to start doing video games again? And I have the answer. It's almost as if there was a worldwide event that made their pachinko market basically worthless. Oh, gee, I wonder, was it, um, COVID? Nah. Every it was the takeover of the crabs. <laughs> Literally every single person on Twitter I've seen, yeah, like, responding to those tweets oh, responds with the same phrase in, like, Comic Sans font in a meme format. Look who came crawling back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vindication. They're also they're working on a they're working on remastering or doing a new Silent Hills uh a new Silent Hills uh IP uh product. I'd be down to for which, that. To which I I'm like, you fuckers are just crawling back at this point. Welcome back. If you guys not if live with decide, your own failure, where did that lead decide, you? Back to me. If, if they decide to resurrect Silent Hills. Oh, they're gonna have to live up to the hype that that game was gonna be. But the playable teaser was fucking terrifying in all it, the right ways. It yes, was. It was. But here's the thing: uh, like, there's no way they're gonna be able to bring that back because Norman Reedus straight up said, "I'm glad that PT got canceled so I could be in <laughs> Death Stranding." Oh, that's Ooh. fucking great. To yeah, which... because. Because PT got cancelled, uh, because of all the shit that fucking happened at Konami, and then that became Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. <laughs> Norman Reedus and the Funky Konami Fetus. With also, uh, that also advertises- Did you know that Norman Reedus has a TV show, Ride with Norman Reedus? No, oh, but now really? I do. I couldn't tell. The Watch more Ride... you know. Watch Ride with Norman Reedus. Also, drink Monster Energy Drink. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> If you drink four monster energy drinks, it, it increases your maximum stamina. Doesn't uh, that kill you? Not in Death Stranding. Not if you're a OG. Not if hey, you're a uh, real gamer. Wasn't there like a girl who suffered a heart attack after drinking seven monsters or something? I think yes. Well, it's yeah. okay. That just Wait. means gaming isn't for women, right? Um, I want to point out something about Red Bull. It makes your blood sticky. Okay, do you want to know what that means? It, what? Oh no. Oh no. Here's what that means. Okay, there's a substance that either was or still is in Red Bull. I only learned this from uh, corporate sins or brand sins or whatever. Uh, if you drink it, it does something that makes your red blood cells more malleable. And malleable in a way that they might end up sort of kind of clumping together and forming weird shapes. Oh my god, dude. That's so the... Yeah, so like... You do have to drink a lot before it becomes a problem. But this is but this is what we mean when we say sticky blood. You gotta fucking love Red Bull, dude. 